So, uh, we want to show the triangle inequality. So, the proof of the triangle inequality. So, that is what I am trying to do here. Triangle inequality. So, this basically suppose you have two vectors, ket phi and ket psi. The norm of this, the addition of these two vectors, basically norm of phi plus psi is less than or equal to norm of phi plus norm of psi. So, this is what we want to show. So, called as equation 1. So, the norm of phi plus psi, basically this ket phi plus ket psi is, so first let us find the norm square. So, norm square is the inner product of this vector with itself. So, that you write it as phi plus psi square is basically equal to the inner product of phi plus psi with itself. So, this is equal to first term will be norm of phi square. So the last term will be norm of psi square plus bra phi psi plus bra psi phi. So, bra phi psi in a product of phi with the psi is complex conjugate of the inner product of psi with the phi. So, in general, bra phi psi is a complex number. You can call that as a set. So, so you see, another important thing is the left hand side of this uh, norm square is a real number. So, the right hand side is should be real number. So, this is real, this is real, phi psi plus psi phi. So, so if it is equal to z, you can see that z plus z star is nothing but 2 into real part of z. So, this the last part here is also a uh, real quantity. So, now uh, Another important thing is, suppose z is a plus i b, then real part of z is a and uh, the modulus of z is a square plus b square power 1 by 2. From this you can easily see that the modulus of z is always greater than or equal to real part of z. So, from using this, you can write down this equation number 2 as, so left hand side is, uh, left hand side of equation number 2 is modulus the norm square of phi plus psi, phi plus psi. is equal to more or less phi norm square of phi, phi plus norm square of psi then 2 into real part of phi psi. This 2 into real part of phi psi according to the equation 3 is always less than or equal to more or less of phi psi the inner product of phi So, this one I can write it as less than or equal to phi square plus psi square plus 2 phi psi, the modulus of that. So, this is a very crucial step. This is the place most of the people make mistakes. So, you see the this equation is 
you see that uh, you see that the, this equation is real so this equation 4 is also real so some people can make mistake like uh, not putting this uh, modulus here or putting a real part inside so all such uh, mistakes people can make now it is easy because this is the inner product of two vectors so using the cauchy schwarz inequality what you can do is so cauchy schwarz inequality says that modulus of phi with the psi is always greater than or equal to the norm of phi into norm of psi so we can substitute equation number 5 equa in equation number 4 so what you get is phi plus psi square is less than or equal to phi square plus psi square norms norm psi square plus 2 modulus the norm of phi norm of psi so this one you can write it as phi plus norm phi plus norm psi all square so you can take the square root and uh, that will give you the norm of the addition of two vectors is always less than or equal to norm of phi plus norm of psi so this proves the triangular inequality